Uh, we received various threats and they, they varied in nature, uh, but each of them was very concerning to us, concerning enough that we had to make sure that we had the proper people in place to ensure that there wasn't, you know, an, an incident like there was in Charlottesville. Where Drag Queen Story Hour in the Upstate has gained national attention and locally some people are pretty stunned at the nearly $50,000 taxpayer dollar bill spent for the security during the event at Five Forks Library in Simpsonville this past Sunday. Seven News reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us tonight. She has a lot more on how some Greenville County Council members are looking to avoid those kind of tax dollar costs in the future, Ann. Amy, two council members tell me they are working on an ordinance that would require private groups holding events in public spaces to pay for extra security. The idea was a reaction to the security costs at Drag Queen Story Hour. As drag queens arrived at the Five Forks Library to read children's stories, seven to eight hundred people also showed up to protest the event and to support it. Threats also poured in. Multiple threats. We had to do everything in our power to ensure that the people who were present or attending the event were safe and secure. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office provided 144 deputies and other support to make sure everyone stayed safe. The total cost came to nearly $48,000. Greenville County Council members Willis. Meadows and Joe Dill were shocked by the cost. We had no idea that it cost as much as it did. In response, Meadows and Dill are working on an ordinance that would require private entities using public facilities to pay for any extra security their event requires. They have the right to speak as they want to speak and they have the right to do what they did last Sunday. Uh, but I don't think they have the right to spend my money or the other taxpayers' money to do it. Natalie Shake, who created the Moms Liberal Happy Hour Facebook group that hosted the Story Hour, says she thinks the ordinance would be a violation of people's First Amendment rights. It is not something that was ever going to pass. I think it was just there to show us that we need to be put in our spot. We asked her about people who say they don't want their tax dollars going to something they don't agree with. I think most of my tax dollars go to something I don't agree with. I mean, I'm obviously a liberal and I disagree with most of the administration that's in the state and the country. Councilman Meadows says he hopes they will have a version of that ordinance ready to present at the next county council meeting. Are they concerned at all about like court challenges and the costs of that that might spill out from this? He didn't mention that. He says he's confident that he has the support it needs to pass. All right, Ann Maxwell on the story. We'll follow it. Thank you.